Welcome back to Rim Racket. This episode, we're going to be talking about the AFC and NFC championship games. But before we get into that, it's a basketball podcast. Nope, before we even get into that, we need you to like and subscribe. <laughs> please, please. I'm begging you. Please. For the love of God. It's free. It is free. It's free. If you don't want orphans to die, go I'd like, comment, and subscribe. If we get 10 subscribers for the next episode, I will chug this P- shield P- potion. It, what was it? If we get 10 more subscribers by the next video, I will chug this shield potion. If we get 20 more subscribers, I'll put vodka in it. And then I'm going to do the podcast after I chug it. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to pee. I'm going to chug this before the episode and then see how progressively bad it gets while we're doing the episode. I think it will fall through the table. And ha- drop some crazy hot takes. Okay. Um. Anyways, before we do the football, we have to do basketball, basketball updates. Because that's what this, this show is based around. The Raptors are open for business ahead of trade deadline. They're not done. Um... Hawks won't take D'Angelo Russell and DeJounte Murray trade. So, the Lakers' uh, chances of getting DeJounte Murray are, quote-unquote, unrealistic. And, I, I mean, D'Lo's been balling out for you, so I'd just say stick with what you got. I don't think he's that bad. I don't know why everybody he's gives him so He's going crazy the past, like, ten games. I mean, he might not be the most consistent player on the court, but, I mean, when he's on, he's on. I think over the last 10 games, averaging like 30 and 7. He's going crazy. Besides that one game that he had like 14. That was an outlier. But uh, The Bulls want strong return for Zach Levine. Obviously. Uh, Zach Levine's sprained ankle could keep him out until trade deadline. That means that trade stock is like shooting down. I'll take him. Wizards have a mandate to acquire more first-round picks. Who would have thought? Suns, Pistons, Jazz interested in trading for Miles Bridges. I remember... Suns, Pistons, and Jazz? Yep. I remember seeing a Suns... I forgot like, what it was, but it was like a guarantee that they'll end up with Miles Bridges. That'd be tough. He'd be nice for him, for sure. Um, the Bucks hired Dave Yeager... Rex, Rex. K from Walmart as assistant coaches. <laughs> God, I hope not. He would just be yelling on the sideline. <laughs> that thing he does. Oh, his how? Yeah. Oh, that thing. <laughs> shout out Rex. Um, shout out Rex. Kyle Lowry could join Sixers if bought out. Where it all began. Nope. I mean, he's from Philadelphia. Yeah, he's he from went Philadelphia. to Villanova for college. Um, Tyus Jones, Malcolm Brogdon, Bruce Brown Jr. would each likely cost first round pick to acquire. Malcolm Brogdon, one first round pick. Please, Warriors, call that line. Tyus Jones, first round, one first round pick. All of those guys, right? one first round pick. Yes, like that is. What? That's. I mean, Tyus Jones. I think out of all of them. Back to Why has he got to ride away in Washington? Go to the Spurs. Be with your brother. Be a better point guard. I'm if still. High, have. I'm still high on the Trey Jones thing. I think he's got still got good upside. I think he'd be even better if he was playing with his brother. Um, Pacers tell teams they're not trading T.J. McConnell. Good. Go. Yep. Pacers legend. Knicks have interest in Daniel Gafford. Kind of crazy. Um, he's not bad, but he's also like six foot eight. He needs to go back to. The- might be trading trade to the Bulls for Zach Levine. I man. think I'm tripping. I saw this report that came out where the Bulls offered Zach Levine to the Pistons in exchange for Bogdanovich and one of their substantial young players being either Kate Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, or Jalen Duran. He's six foot ten. The my Bulls guess, are my insane. Guess would, my guess would be Jalen Duran for that because I, there's no way the Pistons are getting rid of Kate Cunningham. The Bulls no way the Pistons are, are getting rid of any of those three. The Bulls are insane for even wanting to get Kate Cunningham and Bogdanovich for Zach Levine. That's ridiculous. Kate Cunningham's a better player than Zach Levine. I think Zach Levine's better as of today, but I think Kate Cunningham has a better uh, ceiling going forward, probably, all around. Um, uh, 
More scoring outbursts. Luca had 73 points against the Hawks, and they won by win. five points. Against the team that traded him on draft night. Yep. Um, that was a fair trade all around. It's, how is it fair? It, it'd be fair if the Hawks have had some success. Not the fact that Trey Young, you know, he's been a good player, but he's they had not. some success. He's not. Luka Doncic success. I know, but it was... A, didn't they make... Was it the conference finals? The Hawks? Or the round before that? The Mavericks have made the conference finals. I don't think the Hawks have. No, the Hawks I think the Hawks have made it. No, they lost to the Knicks. Yeah. Not the Knicks. They lost to the, the Heat, wasn't it? The, the, yeah, they lost in the second round to the Heat. They okay. won the, the first round, but that's the only success. The Mavericks been in the playoffs almost every year besides last year. and they the Mavericks also have a better built team around yeah. Luka than Trey well, Young has. Yeah. I don't but think like, it's even. I think. I don't. But, I, I but feel if, like if you switch their places and started their careers over, I feel like the Hawks be more successful with Luca than the Hawks have been with Trey Young. I don't know. I mean, I feel like the Atlanta. Was, I mean, Luke was still. Luke is the kind of guy that makes Luke, your team better. Luke and still be good. He does. Trey Young isn't that kind of guy. Atlanta's not making a conference finals with Luca. I think so. It's the East. No. Why not? No. There's if, too many. There's if an eight seed Heat team can make the finals, then a Hawks team with. Luca instead of Trey Young can make the conference finals. Who's the NBA? I don't. I don't agree with that one. I don't agree with that one. I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not a Trey Young hater, but I just feel like, in terms of like, I mean, the map, I mean, I feel you, like in terms of where they sit in top of the NBA, Luca's a top five player. Trey Young is top fifteen. Right. You know, just to be nice, even like even if that. But I don't think Hawks are making a conference finals appearance just with Luca Doncic. Because the Mavs still had Jalen Brunson, and Jalen Brunson was a big part in the push when they made the conference finals. Yeah, but no one was beating Golden State that year. They were tough in that in that uh, Western Conference run. So. But you know they're still young; they could still do a lot of great. But things. the difference between them is Trey Young's time might be over with in Atlanta, whereas Luka seems to probably be that guy in Dallas for a very long time. Well, if he could, yeah, if they pay him, which they will. That's why Absolutely. I'm... Um, where did I go? Where did I come from? Wizards showing interest in Quentin Grimes. Okay, please don't go there. You're too good to get wasted away in. Where are they moving to? Virginia. Virginia. You're too good to be. They're moving to Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, they're moving to Virginia. They're getting a new arena. I mean, DC is right between Maryland and Virginia anyway. So it's not like they're moving to like. Anywhere super far, just like you know, twenty miles down the road. Are they going to be the Virgi- the Virginia Wizards? I hope not, because that sounds stupid. That's anything with Virginia in front of it, Virginia's just a long word. I, I feel watching. like there's more letters in Golden State than there is in Virginia. When did when did I, when did I say that? Just I saying. just said Virginia is a long word. Plus, <laughs> Golden State is, two words. is easy. Yeah, one is two words. <laughs> <laughs> Two, it flows off the tongue better than Virginia. Philadelphia is a longer word than Virginia. There's yeah. a lot of twisting you got to do to get Virginia out of your mouth. Not possibly. really. Um, <clears throat> Tyrese Halliburton ramping up activity toward the return. Julius Randle suffered dislocated right shoulder. Damn it. Yes. Uh, it's Sorry. not saying anything about... Get back Julius That's Randall. crazy. That's he, actually wild. He was supposed to be an all-star starter. Um, You're high <laughs> on Greg. Jalen Brunson probably should have made it. I see people on on Twitter being so mad that Dame got it over Jalen Brunson. I went looked at their stats, and they are damn near identical. They're off by like. I'm mad Dame got it over Don. I mean, Dame had better stats than Don, and he's played more games than Don. Don's been out for you know consistently a few games here and there. What the hell with that? And they have a better record, and he has better stats. Uh, uh, Milwaukee's lost twice to him. If you have better stats and a better record, and you played more games, you probably get that. Not a hundred times out of a hundred over the next guy, but Jalen Brunson, that one you can make argument against because their stats are literally the same. They're like in like point six, same of assists. I think like one point difference maybe. And then I'm not sure about rebounds. They're not really. Uh, they're small. Jordan people. Jordan's doing the homework right now. I got to do some research. Research, research. Um. Dame has played more games. He has 
He yeah. already, yeah. 25, 4, and 7. And Donovan Mitchell has 27, 5, and 6. So he does have a few more points in the game. Yeah. Well, it's more like 20. Whenever, for whenever I checked this, whenever the All-Star thing right came six. out, Dame's average has went down since whenever the All-Star starters were named. Because whenever I checked, Dame was at 27 the day the day of the starters getting announced. So he's probably had a bad... Um, uh, but the fact the best, the best shooting guard in the league has to come off the bench in the All-Star game. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, he's probably number two behind Book. I got him over Book. That's not me being biased. I said that when he was in Utah. Uh, speaking shooter. of Book, he had 62 and lost again. <laughs> it was the same exact thing that happened on the night of Cat and Joel Embiid. Two centers go out and they score a lot. One of them scores more and wins the game. One scores a little bit less and loses the game. <laughs> Devin Booker's not a center. I'm I'm, I'm saying. Oh. There's two centers <laughs> that night and now you have two guards this night that one, the one that scored more points Won the game, the one that scored less points, lost the game. That was a career high. On the same night for crazy know. career highs. Just like LeBron's crazy career high. 20 uh, rebounds. 20 rebounds in a double overtime game, which is a really good game. I only caught a little bit of it, but the little I watched bit the of, last. I, watch, I watched double overtime, the last part of it. Was, a, was It was a really good game. It was. Well, they won by what? Two? One. They're one. Those Two. play-in games are going to go crazy. One. Yeah. Is yep. Golden State? That was, that was that was prime Ron Curry rivalry shit right there. The playing tournament's gonna go crazy with those two teams. Who the Lakers? Not the, the Lakers. Warriors. I mean, Lakers are have what the ninth seed. That's a play in. The regular season doesn't matter, Jacob. I'm just saying, the like, regular if, season doesn't matter. If it ended today, they'd be in play in. But it's not. The regular season doesn't matter. And I mean, it really doesn't. Postseason matters. Have right, you seen a play in team make it to the finals before? It'll probably it? happen again. Is it? Get off my nuts. <laughs> drink, a, drink a big shield and shut up. <laughs> Maybe if we get 10 more subscribers. I think we're at 78 right now. Um, we're going to drop the cipher. When are we dropping the cipher? Uh, we made the cipher at 75. We're going to drop it at 90. We didn't agree to that. We did not agree to that. <laughs> I just pulled that out of my ass. Put it back. <laughs> yeah, put it back. Um, Drew Holiday hopes to stay with the Celtics long term. Dude, what do you mean long term? You're like 36. Still good at his job. Joel Embiid can only miss six more games and remain eligible for postseason awards. And uh, he sat out in the game against Jokic in Denver. And there's a lot of fans that were really mad about that because the last time they played... The Sixers won in Philadelphia, and it was a really good battle. Jokic hasn't played in Denver since 2019. Jokic hasn't played in Denver since 2019? What a guy. He you knew what I meant. I said he won the championship there. <laughs> you knew what I meant. He hates home games. <laughs> Joel Embiid hasn't played in Denver since 2019. Embiid, are you scared of the high altitudes in Denver? Get your ass on the court. He actually came out of the locker room whenever he heard all the foos or the what the foos the fans booing him. He was watching the game and he could hear him like chanting his name. And so he went out and waved to all of them. It was hilarious. Adam Silver finalizing contract extension with who? The NBA. The NBA. The commissioner. <laughs> oh, I just meant because he's the commissioner. He just signed to the. He just signed to the Celtics. himself. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll extend you. I think I'll give myself an extension because the other uh, the table signs it. If extension is expected <laughs> to run through the end of the decade. Give him a lifetime deal. He's the best commissioner in all sports. I think anyone would say that. Any athlete would say that. My thing was, where did he come from? I remember David Stern, and he just passed it off. This tall alien. He, dude. he retired, and uh, Dave, I mean, um, oh my gosh, what's his name? I can't think of it. Adam Silver? Adam Silver was like, the vice president for like 15 years. And so oh, okay. whenever he retired, he just stepped up and got the job, I'm pretty sure. Ben Simmons is back at it. Probable to return Monday. Let's go. Ben Evan Simmons. Mobley could return Monday. Let's go. Mo- Jared still- Allen, not available on trade talks. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Yet. Uh, Rockets interested in Robert Williams. Hell yeah. That'd be That's nice. That's it. That's all the basketball. Except he better not get minutes over baby Jokic. What do they call him? What's his name? Who? Robert Williams. 
Time, Time Lord. Time Lord. That's a sick nickname. That's a dope nickname. It's, it I don't is. even know where you got it from. Me neither, but... I don't even know how he got it. I don't know what it means, but... Dope. But you know what it's time for, guys? Time to talk about football. Woo, woo. That was the worst transition ever. Go Bolts. Go Bolts. Um, first, <laughs> I in, said it was hockey. Yeah. <laughs> is there a hockey team with a lightning logo? Yes. Yeah, there is. The lightning. What is it? Oh. I don't know what city they're from, but like Tallahassee, Tampa Bay, yeah, Tampa, yeah. Tampa Bay yeah. is what it is. Yeah, I said Tallahassee. What the hell? No one plays there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you think a little Tyler? <laughs> For real. Um, first and foremost, in terms of uh, ooh, chicken beats the mouse. Uh, first off, today was the day of the uh, the conference championship games in the NFL. Uh, congratulations to the Chiefs and the 49ers for making it to the Super Bowl. Piss, up, piss on his green. This guy was sweating on the track. I was. I was walking like this. Just, this crazy. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, uh, the first game of the day was the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. Um, the Chiefs scored 17 points from a touchdown from Isaiah Pacheco, a touchdown from Travis Kelsey, and a 52-yard field goal from Harrison Butker. Uh, all scored in the first half of the game. Uh, so that's 17 points uh, to Baltimore's 10. They scored from one passing touchdown to Zay Flowers and a 43-yard field goal by Justin Tucker. Uh, and that field goal came in the last three minutes of the game. Uh, Kansas City. Oh, uh, some key players from Kansas City side was Patrick Mahomes, obviously. Uh, a two-time MVP, two-time Super Bowl uh, champion. Went 30 for 39, uh, 76% uh, completion percentage, uh, 241 total yards, and one passing touchdown. Uh, rushing, Isaiah Pacheco had 68 yards on 24 carries, and then he had 14 yards on four receptions for 82 total yards and one touchdown. And then Travis Kelsey uh, ended the game with 116 yards on 11 receptions and five yards on one carry for a total of 121 yards. And one touchdown. Some key players for each team, or for Baltimore, would be Lamar Jackson. He went 20 for 37, uh, throwing the ball at a 54% completion percentage, which is a really big step down from Mahomes at 76%. Uh, but he ended up with more total yards, uh, 54 yards coming from rushing and 272 coming from passing. Uh, he, he had one touchdown pass to Zay Flowers, who ended the game with 115 yards on five receptions. Uh, 23 yards uh, per reception, which is pretty insane. That's uh, almost two downs per catch. Uh, and then he had four yards on two carries with 119 total yards and a touchdown. And then Justin Tucker went one for one on field goals, uh, attempted, uh, was 43 yards, and he, to he scored a total of four points. And then some key storylines from the game. So despite not scoring in the second half at all, uh, the Chiefs make it back to the Super Bowl for the fourth time in the last six seasons. Uh, all of the past six seasons of Mahomes being the starting quarterback. Uh, and they have won four of their last six AFC championships. Uh, only losing to, I believe, the Bengals in 2022. And I'm blanking out on the next one. What year was it? I don't know. When they beat, when Wait, the what, was the, what was the question? Well, I mean, what was the... What 2019. Was the, when the Bengals beat them? They've only... Okay, so they've been in the conference championship since Who? 2019. The Chiefs, Chiefs have. They've lost the Bengals and another team. 2019. I can't think of it. Who was in that Super Bowl? 2019. Was that... Wasn't that the Patriots? Or Tampa Bay? No. No? Tampa no, no they're NFC. So it was 2019 would have been... This guy. Uh, 2019, yeah, 2019, no, Rams are NFC. Yeah, the, so just start just, just it would have been no, the no, Patriots. No, no, just start Rams. 2019 yeah. would have been Patriots, Patriots. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember really. that game that was a, like a, a crazy game between Brady and Mahomes. Yeah. See, I was right. Bastards. Bastards? Yeah. I don't remember what I said. I don't know anything about football. Well, I don't either. And you're trying to, go I'm trying to tell you guys something. Okay. Huh? Uh, some, okay, I'll so, tell you about this fucking game. This game is The Chiefs game? Okay, so... Mahomes is now 2-0 and as an underdog in the playoffs. These past two games only being the two games he's ever had as an underdog, playing uh, as the away team, 
the past five years before now, he has always been the favorite, and they've always had home home field advantage. Uh, but he's came into hostile environments in both uh, Buffalo and one, and now Baltimore and one. Uh, next up, a record-breaking night for Travis Kelsey. He broke the NFL record for the most receptions in playoff history. Uh, this was a record formerly held by uh, 49er receiver Jerry Rice, who has 151 postseason receptions. Uh, and now Travis Kelsey stands at the top with 156. Uh, before the game, he had 145, which means he had uh, 11 in receptions to beat that record. Uh, so as of now, he has 1,810 receiving yards on 156 receptions, which is averages out to about 11.6 yards per catch, while Rice has 2,245 receiving yards on 151 receptions with an average of 14.8 yards per catch. So even though Kelsey does have more postseason receptions, Jerry Rice still has uh, more postseason yards. Next up was a very interesting one by Kadarius Toney, a guy that's had like a lot of flack for the Chiefs this year. Like you remember that uh, offsides Offside. call? He's been getting a lot of shit. Uh, he had one do? pass. Oh, for 32 yards. Who? Darius Tony. You know, you put money on that. No. When? Wrong person. I was thinking of Valdez Scanley. Yeah. Kadarius Wrong Tony. Guy. So Kadarius Tony was He's ruled out. <laughs> he was ruled out of today's game, and the Chiefs said he was injured. Uh, they said injury slash personal reason. And he didn't like that very well. And before the game even started, he went on Instagram Live uh, and was telling fans, he's like, I'm not injured. That's cap. He wasn't injured at all. He doesn't know why the Chiefs didn't play him. Uh, I hear there's there's some like rumors that he had some personal things like a, a child being born, but if the child was born, you know, a few days ago, that doesn't really you know limit a lot of NFL players from playing, and so the 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 Chiefs putting him on IR, uh, he did not like that very well, and he made that known on Instagram Live before the game even started. So there's some some shit brewing in the Chiefs locker room, uh, at least on the receiver. And, uh, and then the last thing I have about this game was Baltimore could not catch the ball. Uh, Patrick, or not Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson was throwing that thing. Like he was launching that ball and it was just not getting caught, uh, by anyone besides Zay, uh, Flowers, the, the rookie. He probably used the best player this game besides Lamar Jackson, uh, but no one else was catching the ball. Um, and KC's secondary was really exploiting them. And so Baltimore's offense could never really get started. They only scored uh, 10 points the whole game, seven in the first half, and then a field goal in the last three minutes of the game. It was a very low-scoring game by two very capable offenses. Uh, and then the Ravens having the best defense on paper in the league, you would have thought they'd been able to do a little bit more. Uh, but like I said, there were players like Travis Kelsey that kept on getting the ball in his hands. Uh, Pacheco, who could run the ball as good as anyone. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the, the break, my breakdown of the AFC championship game where the Chiefs beat the Ravens. What do you guys have any thoughts on it? The hell was that game? I don't have anything. Who are you say? going for? Chargers. Wanted Baltimore win, not for the, the fact of what everyone wanted to, just to see Kansas City lose. I just wanted to see a new face in the Super Bowl. It's not that I wanted him to lose. I just want to see a new face in the Super Bowl. And I feel like that would have done great for Lamar. I feel like it would have had MVP more on lock than what it is now. Cause, I mean, I I still think he'll get MVP, but it might knock him a little bit. It might. I don't know really how the football MVP shit works. I think it's like the NBA where they pick the winner based off regular season alone. And so I don't think postseason really affects it much at all I, I believe I believe uh, the NFL awards do come out next year or next week but because I, there's I typically... do wish this was more of a bigger game than what the Niners Lions game was um, wish it had more story really low scoring I mean it was played up a lot in the media a lot more yeah, yeah. like they had a little bit of hype than what it was all cracked up to be at but all. I mean I mean, you're not, you're not, I mean, you're there to put on a show, but you're also there to win a game to go to the Super Bowl. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Pat had a crazy game. 
30 for 39. No, it's no interceptions, I believe. Yeah, no interceptions. Is crazy. All right, let's get this fucking piece of shit next game over with. I don't want to talk about it too much. Okay, so the next game... You go ahead and go on your damn spiel on how the 49ers are going to fuck the Super Bowl yet again. Hopefully their quarterback don't get hurt this year. You can't spell Montgomery. There's a red line underneath it. Okay, I missed that. Okay, so the second game of the night... <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I'm mad. Was the, the San Francisco 49ers going against what? <laughs> going against the Detroit Lions? Uh, San Francisco scored 34 points uh, from two touchdowns, uh, rushing touchdowns by Christian McCaffrey, one receiving touchdown by Brandon Ayuk, and two field goals. Uh, one being 33 yards, and the other one being 43 yards from Jake Moody, their rookie kicker. Uh, so they butcher, scored. Who butchered the first field goal of the game? He did. He has missed only three field goals this year, and they all come in, like, very serious moments, and it really makes me mad. Like, when he should have beat the Browns in week six, uh, and my cousin was even at the game, and he's a huge Niners fan. Shout out Keith. He was there in the point down range in Cleveland, and he, from the video and his angle, he thought the field goal went in, and all the Niners fans in the stadium thought it went in. And then they watched it on the Jumbotron, and it had missed. But, uh... Regardless, he he made the other two, uh, and forty three being I think one of his deepest ones so far. Uh, Detroit scored thirty one points from one rushing touchdown from Montgomery, uh, one rushing touchdown from uh, Jameer Gibbs, one rushing touchdown from Jameson Williams, as well as one receiving touchdown from Jameson Williams, and one twenty yard field goal from Mike Bagley. Uh, so. 49ers ended up beating the Lions 34 to 31. Uh, some key players for San Francisco was Brock Purdy, uh, uh, throwing the ball 20 for 31, uh, 64 percent completion percentage uh, for 267 passing yards and 48 rushing yards. I think that's the most, uh, or one of the most rushing yards he's ever had in the game, with a total of 315 yards and one passing touchdown. And then Christian McCaffrey had 90 yards on 20 carries, and then he had 42 yards on four uh, receptions for uh, a total of 132 yards and two touchdowns. And then Brandon Ayuk on the receiving end had 68 yards on three receptions and one touchdown. Uh, some key players for Detroit, uh, Jared Goff threw the ball uh, 25 or 41 times, uh, completing 25 of them for a 60% completion percentage for 273 yards and one passing touchdown. Uh, no rushing yards. David Montgomery had 93 yards on 15 carries. Uh, 20 yards on two receptions, 113 total yards, and one touchdown. Uh, Jameer Gibbs had 48 yards on 12 carries, 11 yards on three receptions, and 56 total yards and one touchdown. And then Jamison Williams had 42 yards on one carry and 25 yards on two receptions for 47 total yards and two touchdowns, meaning Jamison Williams did not really have a lot of carries or passes, but he still got two touchdowns out of it, which is uh, good for him. So he definitely wasn't the guy to blame this game on. Uh, so some of the key storylines from this game is the Niners are playing in their fourth champion or NFC championship in the past five season, uh, their third one in a row, advanced to their second Super Bowl appearance in that same time frame of the past five seasons. Uh, Brock Purdy is the, if he, God willing, doesn't get hurt in the next couple weeks, will be the first guy who's selected with the last pick to start as quarterback in the Super Bowl. Um. And so some of the big reasons why the Lions ended up losing down the stretch is because, uh, I mean, we've talked about this in our group chat a lot. Uh, a thing that I've talked about with the Lions is they're not very experienced. Besides, uh, I think whenever I looked it up, there was 10 people on a 53-man roster who have been in the playoffs before. Uh, that means you have 43 guys who have never been in this position at all. Uh, obviously, you would hope that Jared Goff could lead you that way. But you also have a guy that's very new to coaching, only in his third or fourth season, I believe, Dan Campbell. And there was two times in this game whenever Detroit was within field goal range on fourth down. Uh, people would tend to just kick the field goal because you have a higher percentage chance of making a field goal than you do making a fourth down conversion. But both times they went for uh, they went for it on fourth down, and both times they failed. Uh and that is six points uh, that they did not get on the board that could have definitely won this game. And so that, I think it just comes down to uh, 
being experienced versus not being experienced play calling wise. Because in terms of how the football was played tonight, I, I feel like Detroit played all around better than the 49ers did. But in those big moments uh, where you need your offensive coordinator and your head coach to make the right call, they did not. Uh, so my takeaway from this game for the Lions is that they are real. And the only thing that had them lose tonight was not playing bad, but it was bad play calling, if that makes any sense. Uh, the Niners advanced to the Super Bowl. Uh, and they're rematching the Chiefs, who beat them back in 2020. Uh, and this time, the tables have turned a little bit. Because back in 2020, the Chiefs were top to bottom, stacked with Pro Bowlers. Uh, and the Niners were not. They were not supposed to be there. I think that whenever the Niners made it, they had like a 10-7 a and seven record or like 9-8. and eight. They, Like they were, I think, the fourth seed in the playoffs that year. And the Chiefs were the first seed. Um, and they get in the, to the, the game and obviously the Chiefs ended up winning it, but the Chiefs were, like I said, stacked. And that's whenever they had Tyreek Hill and they got their first ring with Patrick Mahomes. Uh, but this time around, it seems like the, the tables have, have flipped, whereas the Chiefs still have Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. But other than that, their team is not loaded down with pro bowlers like it was back in 2020. Uh, but on the flip side, the Niners have, uh, nine pro bowlers on their team this year, the most of any team. Uh, literally, at they have a pro bowler at halfback, at running back, at tight end, uh, two receivers, quarterback, uh, two D linemen, one O lineman. They're pretty stacked. Uh, and so, like I said, it's just a, a, a weird uh, flip of the coin from 2020 versus 2024. Uh and so I think it's going to be a really good game. Niners going in as favorites, obviously, against a, a team in Kansas City that has a, a lot lacking uh, receiver-wise. And another cool fact is this is the first team to ever compete or complete a seven-point-plus seven comeback point. win. Seven-point? 17 17-point point comeback win in a uh, conference championship ever. It's never happened before. Uh and they did it tonight, and I was coping really hard at halftime. Like, the Niners were down, I believe it was 24-7, to and that first half was ugly. It was so bad. And then I literally was walking outside, just phone in hand for like, I don't know, what was it, an hour? It was probably like an hour and a half. Yeah, an hour and a half just in the cold watching this game, freaking out. And they just kept on making big plays and big plays, and defensive stop and playing like the Niners have all year long uh, and really exploiting those, like I said, that inexperience that Detroit has and has, uh, I, I felt like wasn't showing in the first half. And I feel like, like I said, it boiled down to what team knew what to do in those moments versus the other people just being happy to be there. And here we are, Niners and Chiefs back in the Super Bowl. What do you guys think? I don't know. Fuck the Niners. I don't know. As a Seahawks fan, fuck the Niners. Go Chiefs. Let's go Ice Spice. Ice what? Spice should do the national anthem. Thank you, shit. Not even a part. You're not even a part. That song dropped. Did it? If y'all listen to it, that song dropped. I need to listen to it. Jeez. That song dropped. Uh, Jim Harbaugh. Coach of the Chargers. Jim Harbaugh is a great coach. Jim Harbaugh will get the Chargers. To the wild card. Yes, sir. And then Bill you're not, Belichick's. You're not coaching. Shut up. Bill Belichick is going to go to Michigan. And Tom Brady's going to reinstate his eligibility and play one more year. And they're going to get themselves another championship. Crazy. You watch too many TikToks. I went down a rabbit hole of some bullshit. Nope. You see where uh, Stephen Jackson uh, reached out to Deion Sanders and said, I went straight from the uh, high school to the NBA. I still have four years of college eligibility. Put me on at Colorado. Sure. And Deion Sanders is like, I got you. I got a spot for you. Obviously joking around, but it'd be hilarious if you stuck like a 45-year-old Steven Jackson on a football field. You, you might do something. having to go up against Tom Brady when you're a freshman in college. <laughs> oh, my gosh. One it's thing Brady like, doesn't have. The one thing he doesn't have. Marriage. That's tough. He had it. 
Dude, imagine if Brady comes but in. He lost it. What like if he did to Nick Foles? And Eli Manning. Imagine if Brady comes and plays flag football for the Olympics just for the hell of it, just so he can get a gold medal. The Olympics? Yeah. 2024 Paris Olympics will be the first time ever had flag football. Be it's seven man flag football. That's gonna be so stunning. It's gonna, playing. it's gonna. I don't, they, they haven't released a player pool. Uh, like, well, if we have Tyreek Hill playing, we're good. All I'm saying is, if any give the ball, he's give fast. the fucking Dolphins receivers. They're all fast. Just give the gold medal to America already. I think the NFL has so like Spain's gonna be good at this too. Spain's gonna be fucking kicking it. <laughs> Rudy Fernandez is gonna be if the we quarterback. Did, if we have, <laughs> just give me like seven seven offensive guys. Give me like Lamar Jackson. Christian McCaffrey, Tyreek Hill. Who else? Travis Kelsey. I'm trying to think of some receivers. Justin Jefferson. And then just like two linemen. Oh, it's Raps. It's Raps. No one's catching Dude, Justin just Jefferson. Put, just, clap. Put, just put the damn. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun to watch the United States football team go up against Bangladesh and obliterate them. I mean in some flag football. Have, well, I don't think it'd be new ter- ter- territory, territory for Bangladesh, would it? I, I mean, know. they gotta have, they, they gotta have, they gotta have, they gotta have enough countries to put it in the Olympics. Yeah. So they gotta be over practicing or something. But football is not yeah, as like different. worldwide yeah, as other sports Run straight, are. Grab a like flag. obviously soccer is like the biggest sport worldwide, and then I'd say basketball or tennis would be like up next. Baseball, baseball, cricket. Eh, baseball, <laughs> eh. It's getting up there, but I think I feel like baseballs or basketball is everywhere. Baseball's I know, but baseball's not baseball's, baseball's not big though. in like Europe as big as much as basketball is. Yeah, because you got to think about like but, terrain. But, but baseball is you can put a court baseball's anywhere. bigger in like Japan, just off Shohei alone. Baseball is big in the Americas, and, and then I'm that that's meaning North America, Central America, and then uh, Eastern Asia. It's not really big. Oh. I in right. Africa, it's okay. not really big in Europe. So it looks but, like first is soccer, but number two is cricket. Cricket? 2.5 billion. Oh, I forgot about hockey. Hockey, 2 billion. Tennis, 1 billion. Volleyball. No way volleyball is bigger than table tennis. Baseball is eighth. Rugby, golf. Golf? Golf stuck in there. Wow. So Over golf like, stuck in there. what other sports are there? Look for Cricket. Us. Cricket's crazy. But then the. I'm just thinking basketball because they have we have like a lot of basketball players from Africa. We have a lot from Asia. We have a lot from Europe. We have a lot from South America and North America. Every continent besides Antarctica, you know, we have NBA players Nobody from. Africa has any people. Uh, uh, Mr. Beast went there for 50 hours. This is true. Did you not watch his video? But he's not from Antarctica. You don't know that. He's you from know North that. Carolina. How do you know? He said it. Ever talk just because he lives there doesn't mean he's from there. Yeah. He's from. Look it up. I don't want to look it up. We're busy right now. We're doing a podcast. Yeah, talking. Dude. Yeah, fuck. You was on your right phone when he was talking anyway. Who? You. Not me. Run it back. Chad clipped that. Can't do it. Unclippable. 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 Favorite cricket player? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if President just named a name, I looked it up and it was a real person, I'd shit my pants. <laughs> Jimmy? Jiminy? Jimmy. <laughs> Cricket. Jimmy. <laughs> this guy's right. onto something. He's cooking. Look it up. I don't wanna. I don't want to. Um maybe. What sport would you guys want to oh. see in the Olympics? Uh bowling. WWE. <laughs> Dude, India's giving us a run for our money. If they just bring out the great Kali. Nah, he's old as hell. Speaking of the <laughs> WWE and old as hell, Vince McMahon has re signed because of some dirty stuff. You dirty, dirty boy. Very dirty. Nasty bastard. You, you old um, sex shit. Also, the Royal Rumble just happened. Yeah. If you're worst, interested in that, worst, I haven't... Worst ending ever. I haven't watched it. Please don't worst say anything. Worst ending ever. I've seen two oh, videos uh, about uh, it. Oh, you don't, you don't want me to? Uh, okay. okay. A- Andrew and Isaiah were watching on lunch. Oh, okay. When I was at work, and I came back, and then it was on my TikTok when I got off work, because it was over by then. I watched one of them. One of the Rumbles. And I just watched the part when Pac... Pat McAfee. I seen that. Oh, yeah. He came in. I seen that in one other clip. Oh, do you don't want to? You don't want to know who wins it? No. Oh, you care who wins it? Maybe a little bit. I still got you know. <laughs> one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. time, like one of my top ten wrestlers, got got beaten. It made me mad. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. 
Well, that's great news. Our truth, he's in top ten. <laughs> no, our our truth is fucking. I didn't hilarious. watch. I didn't watch the, a clip. Our truth, he came out. Someone was eliminated. You threw him back in the ring, and then we were gone again. <laughs> Bro, he. When I okay, I went on lunch, and like they were having like a little like pre-show, or whatever. And they were playing at the Ray Stadium. Like, they are playing in a baseball stadium. Mm-hmm. Which, mind you, baseball stadiums are fucking huge. 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 So the fact that they're putting the Royal Rumble in a baseball stadium is crazy. But anyway, um, he has a bunch Thanks of for- fucking baseballs in his hand. He goes, I don't like my number. He says, he's trying to break into the damn baseballs to get his number. You know he's like 60 years old? Creeping up on 60? Our truth? Yes. Really? I think he's in his late 50s. He's been Black wrestling since crack, like, man. like maybe mid-90s in Black WCW. Did you hear that? And I think this is where we ended. No, why? How's that a bad thing to say? It's pretty it obvious. I didn't say it was bad. I just don't know how. Now I gotta look it up. See how old I want to know. He's like fifties, I believe. He's like thirty-six. <laughs> I had the two biggest wrestling nerds in the living room telling me how old he was. Okay, so fifty-two. Andrew, Jesus no. Christ! He does not look like he's fifty-two. What's his real name? Oh, Ronnie Reginald. Oh, Ronnie Reginald. What do you mean? Well, now we He's had some the weirdest anymore. ring names. He had K Malik Shabazz, K Quick, K Crush, Ron Killings, R Truth, and R Ziggler. R Ziggler sounds like it was the tag team name. Yeah, probably for R Truth and Dolph Ziggler. You know who else has had some weird names? Triple H. Hurt him. Paul Levesque. That's his real name. Levesque. Levesque. That's his real name. Weird name, bro. So his first one was Hunter Hearst he- Helmsley. Then it was Jean Paul Levesque. Then it was Terror yeah. Rising. Then it was Terror Rising. Then it was Terror Rising. Then it was Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Crazy. Triple H, top five all time. Top oh, five wrestlers, go. Uh, I think we did this before. We've already done this before. Top five yeah, female yeah. wrestlers. The Bella Twins. Uh, Is that count as one? No, that's two. <laughs> that takes the uh, top two spots right there. Crazy. Which one's first? Uh, John Cena's ex. Nikki? Yeah. Good choice. Facts. Good choice. Uh, man, I feel like an asshole because I don't know any more. You don't know any more divas? Bro, Trish Stratus. They're not divas Kelly anymore. Kelly. They're Kelly. not divas anymore. That's, that's not politically correct anymore. They had to change it. Are you sure that's not what they're called? Yeah, they, they, they're not divas anymore. What are they called? I don't know. Let me look it up. Burr, 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 burr. Live. Late breaking. Um, Fake news. Why did WWE... Uh, I've never heard about this. There's a super yeah. strong blonde chick. Charlotte Flair? No. Uh, I think her name is like Phoenix something. Phoenix, oh, Beth. Beth Phoenix. Phoenix. Beth Phoenix, Beth. yes. Beth Phoenix. She was a tough Beth. bitch. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's political. Isn't she correct. married to Edge? They might have done it for like Dude, a you know theater or something. Cool? You know she married to Undertaker? Yeah, yeah. My aunt. My aunt. Dude, them. speaking of women, 2008 SummerSlam. What? Whenever Shawn Michaels was trying to retire and Chris Jericho came out and tried to punch Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels like dodged him and he punched Shawn Michaels' wife and knocked her out. Whenever I was like seven. I was like, fuck you, Chris Jericho. You can't punch a woman. She's knocked out in the ring, and he's crying, and you're a dick. I thought that was so real, and I was remember just being so mad that he punched her in the face. I remember Randy Orton uh, punt Stephanie McMahon. Dude, I, I was listening to a Shane Gill's podcast, and it brought up a deep memory of mine where there was a subplot in the WWE that Kane had raped somebody. He had raped someone and got them pregnant. And and then she had the baby on the on the ring, and then once the baby is born, Kane comes out, and obviously it's a fake baby doll, but he takes it out and he throws it in the crowd. I remember being like four years old watching that, thinking he actually just took this delivered baby and threw it in the crowd after he raped this chick and got her pregnant. WWE used to be on some crazy shit. Speaking of Shane Gillis, Jacob, shout out my coach Jacob. Said you look like Shane Gillis. <laughs> What a hater. But I'll take it because I'm hilarious. Speaking of... Hey, he, 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 like, he said, you know who he reminds me of? Because he reminds me of Lil Jake. And we started buzzing out laughing. Because he brought... He showed me the... Which I already seen. He showed me the... Which the cheese, Danny. Huh. Making a midnight. Which I made a grilled cheese last night. She was fire. 
You're hungry right now? It is currently 12:21. In 2016, the WWE game. stopped using the Diva branding as a part of a move to present them in an athletic manner more in line with their male counterparts rather than in means based around sex appeal. So what are they called? Women. women. <laughs> Instead of being men and divas, it's just men and women. My bad. Um, one yeah, of the subplots. I, okay. One of the subplots <laughs> I thought was real when I was younger was that Kane and the Undertaker were brothers. Same. Yeah, I think that's one of the biggest ones. What's one you remember? What's a, a crazy subplot that you had you tripping out, Preston? Uh, the Boogeyman's whole shit. Dude, the Boogeyman just whole, creeped me the fuck his out. Whole thing. I always thought the Boogeyman was real anyway. Then I seen him on WWE. I was like, no fucking way. The WWE's and the Boogeyman's <laughs> actually <laughs> the, the Boogeyman is actually WWE wrestling. He's real. <laughs> what the no, fuck? I remember I played with him on like WWE 2K9. <laughs> oh shit! Shut up. And I didn't. I was like versing Chad, and Chad was playing as him, and he it was scared the shit out of me. And I remember I quit the match one time just because I was so freaked out. He did a weird ass fucking dance going to the yeah. ring. Yeah, the big flavor flavor ass clock chain. Good worms. <laughs> the worms, that that's what made me me like get sick. Uh I used to think that Hornswoggle lived in the ring. That was a thing. I, I thought that was finished, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think about this uh every once in a while, but do you remember when the Miz got fired and like Yeah. They had something that was like uh, now that the Miz is gone, we have an open roster spot, and they had like this Money in the Bank type match, and there was a guy that ended the match, and it was he was like a Calgary superhero. He had like Calgary flame stuff on. He wins the match, and then he takes off the mask, and it's the Miz. I don't know why, but I always think of that. Dude, um, you guys remember? Grand. Remember who Sin Cara is? Yeah. yeah. Knock off okay. Gangster. Yeah, okay, so then, WWE... Then, then there was, like, another Sin Cara because... Yes, the first that one got, tripped like, me out. Yeah. They're, that they're tripped me they, they fought each other. They fought each other. And I remember watching it and not understanding what the hell was going on. Because... <laughs> the, Jacob did the Spider-Man shit. He did the spider I'm like, what the hell? That just confused me because I was like, they looked exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. There was, was a blue Sin Cara and, like, a red Sin Cara for the longest time. I think there was a yellow, yellow one at no. some point. No, I'm thinking of Rey Mysterio's yellow outfit. Bro, the be- what, was, what was the best? I saw um, Rey Mysterio's mask collection on YouTube. It's crazy. So dope. Bro, if I could get, if I could get any mar- memorabilia from a U- from what? not UFC from a WWE Pro fight, best? I would want a Bro, I Rey want Mysterio. A w- I want a championship belt so bad, like just a rep. Yeah. I don't know why. Bro, I, w- I want a, a ma- his mask. What is the best WWE promo you've ever seen? Mine. I think John Cena's the best like promo guy. The basic when they go out and talk about shit. Like talk, like you know, CM Punk used to do. Oh yeah. Like just go in the ring and talk. John Cena is probably the best promo guy. And when he called the Rock out, because when him and the Rock were beefing, and the Rock had shit run on his arm, and John Cena called him out for that, because that started like an actual fucking beef, like an outside of WWE feud. I think I don't really definitely the DX problems. antics, because it would just be like a normal show, and then it just cuts to DX like blowing up Vince McMahon's. Limousine. I love the, the tank Christmas, or something. And around Christmas. Around Christmas, the DX shit was like so fucking funny. You know they, they tried to. Who is it? NBC? Is that the. Uh-huh. No, it was USA. Yeah. USA tried to stop DX from happening because, like, they were entering the PG era. Yeah, yeah. It was, so it was the like, suck it thing. Yeah. yeah. And then the reason why they got to stay was DX on their supposed to be last episode together. Um, they read the letter from USA that was like, hey, DX can't be a thing anymore. And apparently the ratings went up so much that USA contacted WWE and was like, keep those guys. They're good. It was Dude. funny. We thought what they did was great. I'm just so trying that's to think why of DX like, stayed around. I'm trying to think of like super dope tag teams. I mean, DX has got to be number boys. one. Rey Mysterio and Party, Batista. Party Boys. Party Boys has got to be number two, right? The Dudley Boys. Dudley Boys. Brothers of Destruction. Well, evolution. You're missing out. Who's Evolution? Ric Flair, Triple H, Batista, Dude, Oh, Prime yeah, yeah. Prime Shield? Prime Shield was the Nexus. fire. The Nexus. I don't know the Nexus. There's a few of these. Like, it was like a bunch, it was a bunch, it was a bunch, it was a bunch like, like, like Wade Barrett. It was basically a bunch of rookies. And then oh, CM Punk you. took over. Keith. 
Heath Slater. Slater. Come See, on. I stopped David watching WWE like a year after Sheamus was put in it. Probably like 2010 or whatever. He's like still in there. Yeah, I used to. After he was like, I didn't like Sheamus at all, and then I stopped watching it. And then I, I just, I've just picked it back up in the past year. Fun or so. fact: When Sheamus first like came to WWE, um, we, me, Andrew Bash would always like fight. And I accidentally broke kick Sebastian in the face. <laughs> nice. His jaws are accidentally. He's a, accidentally. I was, gonna, I was gonna win the match. Dude, I was at Ultimate Air today and I gave my little brother the best people's elbow ever. <laughs> <laughs> I broke his back. <laughs> we were on that, that like one platform where you have those like that two oh, that, yeah. that's that styrofoam thing. And I knocked him into Eight? the foam pit. No, my brother Curtis. Oh. I knocked him in there and he was laying there. I said, Get up, pussy. And he said, Come down here. And I looked at him and I said and I dropped down on him. It was so funny. And I had like all these kids going, Ooh. Is there any other good tag teams? The Usos are alright. We're alright. If you've been watching recently, or not recently, but like about a year or two ago, Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio was really fun. Now they're beefing. Now they're beefing. Now Dominic is Dirty Dom. Um, Dirty Dom. <laughs> The fact that I still remember so much about WWE now that we're talking about it is absolutely insane. Yeah. Dude, it used to be a... I used to... Like, how do you put on oh, you remember Friday the Night Smackdown? Remember the legacy? How do you get a kid super hyped and then he watches Friday Night Smackdown and then afterwards you're like, yeah, I go to bed. No, I'm fucking pumped up, dude. I just saw some crazy shit happen. I just seen John Cena go to the table. <laughs> you want me to be able to go to you sleep? You want me to go to sleep right now? I'm pumped up, I'm hoping he's I want okay. to fight Chad right now. I'm hoping he's okay. What's fuck? That's John Cena. It's worse on a Monday whenever you have school the next day. My mom's like, yeah, you got to go to bed. And I was like, Mom, you don't understand. I have to watch the rest of this. After this, you go to bed. No. No. One of the first things I ever went on YouTube and watched compilations of was like 90s wrestling. Because my my dad was like, yeah, Triple H has been wrestling for a long time, not just now. And I was like, no way. And I went on YouTube to a bunch of videos whenever he first came into the league, I guess. The entertainment. The entertainment. The federation. The bin. Whenever I found out it used to be called WWF, it blew my mind. I was like, what the hell? What does the F stand for? Dude, there's so many... Not to cut you off. There's so many WWE conspiracy theories. Oh, so we many. should do a WWE episode. Bro, you know Bobby Lashley and Carlito were in the Rumble? Carlito? None dude. of them won. Okay, they didn't win, so I'm not telling you. But no, I know that two of the 30 aren't going to win. Carlito was in there? Yeah, Carlito. I haven't seen Carlito in right years, here. dude. Andrew met him. Does it look the same? Yeah, Afro and all. Andrew did met he, Carlito. Did he eat an apple? I don't know. If he didn't eat an apple, I'm not going to watch Carlito him. Carlito was on WWE like last <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah, he, he's still signed with him. Yeah. But Andrew met him when Andrew was trying to do that wrestling shit. And he met Jeff Hardy in Cape. in the face. Of people. He met Jeff Hardy and got a, an autograph from him in Cape. Someone I've never liked was been Cody Rhodes, even whenever he first came into the, the he's business. Died. Cody Rhodes got all the hype now. He's got all the hype. He's the only cover of the game now. Cody Someone I used to hate growing up, hated with a passion, was Randy Orton. He was such a prick. Randy Orton was a Edge. dog. He was such a prick. I hated Edge. I hated Edge because I was an Undertaker fan. Best theme song? John Cena. I don't know. I like Randy Orton's. John Cena. Both First off, John Cena, John Cena has, is, is him. What can you listen to in the gym and get pumped up to? John Cena. Yeah, yeah, big Joe yeah, back. The big show. Right, world's strongest man. <laughs> Mark Henry's. It's the big shows. Mark Somebody. Henry's. Somebody go and get the egg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah. Or the Great Collies. <laughs> I like Hornswoggles, personally. You like what? Finley's. Finley and Hornswoggles. It's just, just Irish. Yeah. Just an Irish jig. <laughs> Gets the blood flowing. It's provocative. It's people going. As a kid, Triple H's would always give me Fucking pumped. Like, his whole entrance was dope. Shawn Michaels. His was, like, funny to me. If I'm getting pumped up, it's all about the game. And the fucking lights are flashing, green and black, and he's spitting water in the air. Oh, yeah. I was yeah, getting but his entrance also up. always took 10 minutes. CM Punk's always. theme song's good, too. Yeah, Nets remade, bro. It's terrible. It it's, it's the same song, but, like, it's, it's like not the original. Chopped up in here. Know it's, it. Yeah, it's... What is it? Bro, uh, we just went on a crazy rabbit hole from, from basketball to football to... That's what a 
podcast is about five minutes. We're going to do a bunch of racket Solid. all about WWE sometime. We're going to make some lists for you guys. WWE draft. Oh my god, I remember the draft. The draft was like the biggest thing ever. When I seen John Cena draft in SmackDown, dude, my heart was broken. <laughs> I was like, you tell me I gotta wait to watch my favorite wrestler till fucking Friday? Raw vs. SmackDown was elite. Yeah. They all had like red and blue shirts on. Bro, mm-hmm. I remember the. Um, I was a Raw kid. Dude, 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 dude. I think they took over. I think they took. <laughs> they, Sorry. Sorry. I think they took over the Staples Center. But then they tried <laughs> to switch it last minute because oh. they had a game. And then it That's was like. Conspiracy theory, yeah. yeah, and then like some like. The wrestlers had like Lakers gear on, and the other team had Nuggets gear on. They had like a big like eight man tag team match or something like that. Yeah. So and the Lakers won because John Cena was on the Lakers. So the owner of the Nuggets, who is also the used to be the owner of the St. Louis Rams, he's a Missouri dude. He didn't think that uh, the Lakers were going to end up winning, so he booked WWE that night in uh, uh, Denver, and then the Lakers ended up winning to go back to Denver. And so they had to redo where WWE was going to be. And so they had to do it in L.A., in the Lakers' house. And so uh, WWE was like, well, let's make L.A. be Denver because the owner's a prick. Sick. I, I remember watching that episode. I was like, what? They incorporated basketball? <laughs> I was like, no way. John Cena always incorporated basketball. Oh, yeah, his old theme song was fucking dope, too. I like Rey Mysterio's Loki. Good. I'm trying to think of the one that was just eerie was Undertaker. Always best entrance. Bray Wyatt, all of his gimmicks. R.I.P. R.I.P. Bray Wyatt. Rest yeah. in peace, Bray Wyatt. All of his stuff, elite. I think that's what wrestling should be about. It's character. Yeah. At the end of the day, unless you're wrestling under your name, and his characters. Uh, I like Jeff Hardy. Like you know Hardy. someone that has like some of the best characters? Mick Foley. He has like six different characters, dude. Yeah. Go. He Jeff, Hardy. Jeff Hardy is like the, the, like the special effects shit. Oh yeah, Jeff Hardy's like high flying shit. Right, I saw doing. them boys. I saw TikTok of them in AEW. I think it's time to hang it up. They botched like so many moves in one match. <clears throat> you gotta realize they all they both they fought drug addiction for the longest too. Yeah. I didn't say anything about that. I'm I know, but like at this like, point, I feel like it's gonna catch up with you. At this point, I mean you were like immortalized in the minds of like a lot of like twenty year old to like thirty year old people that watch you as kids. You don't have to prove it to some shithead. They're gonna watch you and be like, Who the fuck's this old guy? Unless you're gonna like those kids are gonna go watch highlights. Which is what I did. Like that's how I became a fan of Goldberg, even though I never watched him wrestle until he came back in like 2010. Goldberg's weak. Yes, Goldberg's overrated. So overrated. best spear of all time, Goldberg. I don't know. Roman Reigns' spear is pretty nice. Yeah. Roman Ma- Roman, Roman Reigns', Reigns is whole package. The Superman punch, all of it. He's climbing the ranks as like one of the best. What? You said Roman Reigns is what? Superman punch. Before that. Huh? What did you say before Superman punch? I think we all forgot. What did he say? What did I say? He said, Roman Reigns is whole package. His whole package? Why do you have your mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Creep. It's crazy. Anyways, back to the adult conversation. Hey. Uh, hey. His movesets are fire. <laughs> his finishers, anyways. I like The Rock, but his character is just like... Annoying to me. It Shut makes up, me so bitch. mad. Shut up, bitch. He said it's a triple H. And then obviously, like, Stone Cold. I wish I was, like, alive in the 90s to watch that Raw as War era. That was dope. Stone Cold was so funny. He probably, he's, he's the one that's, like, started the whole trend of being a dick to Vince McMahon. And then DX kind of just, you know, picked up on it. Pick it real well. Oh, you to work. Yeah. That, was big. <laughs> that was big as a. Uh, do you have anything else? I think that should be it. Okay. Peace. Sip. Uh, I'm gonna say bye. <laughs>